Hey, apartment therapy. Welcome to Philadelphia. My name is Joseph, and this is my 275 square foot apartment. So I've been in this apartment for about two and a half years now, and it's actually the first apartment that really feels like me and feels like a home. Um, I've moved around a lot in the last five to ten years, and it's just been exciting. Even if it's a tiny little space, it, it feels like me, and I've been able to like make it be like me. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, I'd describe my personal style as this kind of eclectic 70s bohemian, I don't know, I just got these new bangs, so like we'll see what that means. So my biggest splurge in this apartment is my sofa. And it's sectional, which is cool because it breaks apart and you can reconfigure it. This is my favorite configuration here, this elf shape. And it's really cool because it actually is a sleeper sofa. So when you have an overnight guest, it's perfect for that drunk friend. One of the things that drew me to this apartment was this cool loft. It's awesome because it gets my bed up and out of the way so I can have a day where I don't make the bed. So living in a small space, clothing storage is always an issue, especially for me. Uh, I make this little closet do the most, so you'll see sweaters stacked on the floor and then all the way up, more clothing stacked in boxes on boxes. Um, making use of this small space, I even use the dresser for my uh, TV stand too, so making every piece of furniture do double duty is key. One of my favorite DIYs in my apartment is this tabletop, and it's made of from the leftover wood from my headboard, and it's perfect whenever I'm entertaining. Lately I've been really excited about plants and becoming this like plant dad, whatever that means. This is my baby kitchen, and you can see it has all the basic needs, which was great when I moved in. The only bad thing is the small drawer storage, so ultimately what happened is my silverware ends up on the countertop. And I found this cool tiered planter, and it doubles as my silverware and coffee station. Being the new plant dad that I am, I just got a grow bulb for my windowsill, so hopefully my basil will spring back to life a little bit more. And then one of the weird things about this kitchen is the space above the cabinets. Um, I've actually been able to use that to store all of my big pieces of art. This is my small little bathroom. Come on in. You can see one of my favorite tips here is actually using a shower curtain and hanging it right in front of the glass dated fixture. It's just a great way to kind of like add some print to the space and keep it more modern. I would say my like personal style changes so often that like my apartment's kind of the same way and, and how I approach the way I dress is kind of the way I approach my apartment. So, you know, like maybe today I'm mixing metals or layering a funky necklace over this old band tee. Um, it's the same way I approach my apartment. So I take this modern coffee table and put it on um, a funky bohemian rug and my grandpa's army trunk is right next to it. Uh, I just I, I like to see those little bits of history and then that, that juxtaposition of a modern layer on top of that. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed the tour.